When it comes to training, the back is usually out of sight, out of mind for a lot of guys, and the lats suffer because of that. But if you think that's bad, the rhomboids are like the red-headed stepchild when it comes to training. We're going to fix that today. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Now first of all, apologies to any of my red-headed stepchildren that are watching this video. You know that's just a phrase, but it underscores what we're talking about here, and that is out of sight, out of mind, particularly when it comes to the back, and more so when it comes to the rhomboids. I don't think guys are training the rhomboids A, enough, or B, the right way. So I wanted to put a video together today to show you and break down the different components of what they are, how to test for them in case you have any imbalances left and right, strength-wise, <clears throat> and more so what you can do to try to improve that. Now, first of all, what they are and what they do. Guys, they are really, obviously, they're the muscles between the shoulder blades, okay? So they retract the shoulder blades, and they basically, if I were to engage them, you can see them right in the middle of the back. Their role is to counteract a lot of what we do in front of us. And what I mean by that is, constantly we're working on a daily basis on things in front of us, whether we're on the computer. Thumb me up right now if you're watching this like this, watching this video slumped over in your chair, at, on your desk or, or at your, uh, on your couch. The problem is, guys, is that we tend to have everything in front of us, so that's this position of our shoulders, and then you add to that the fact that we train our chest, we train our lats, we train things that do internally rotate our arms, and it makes the situation worse. So the only thing we have to combat that are rotator cuff muscles to externally rotate the shoulders, but also the rhomboids to kind of pull those shoulder blades back and in. Athletically, they're extremely important. Pitchers that I worked with in, uh, with the Mets for years, guys, they made it a real uh, focal point of their maintenance programs to make sure they did this to try to counteract what was going on with all this forward momentum and motion of the arm. Guys that are strength training, rhomboids especially important. Think of a deadlift, okay, or think of a squat. If you can't activate your rhomboids enough and keep your shoulders locked back and in, you automatically start to fall forward. And what have I told you about that before? The body usually follows the head. So if you can't, if you're going to start doing this, well with that goes your head and with your head goes your body and with your body goes your low back. So it's extremely important to start with the rhomboids and make sure that they're strong. Okay guys, so let's test the rhomboids. I'll show you a real simple way. And for you guys following Athlean X, you should be familiar with the inverted row. It's also got a dual application as a testing uh, you know, exercise. So what we do is, remember, the rhomboids are going to pull the shoulder blades back. So there's a quick way to figure out what the strength of your rhomboids are. If you get yourself underneath an inverted row right here, and you square your body up, meaning I'm not tilted down to one side, I'm just nice and square underneath, I should be able to then move my hands close together and then let go. If I let go and I see this happen, that's because the strength of the round boys couldn't hold me in. Okay? If you start to see some kind of drop or rotation, then we know that there is an imbalance on that side, and I'm going to show you how you can be able to address that. But let's start first with how do we strengthen these things now the right way, and then I'll address the imbalances too. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we train them, right? The most important thing, guys, there's two components. As I said in the beginning, the rhomboids are a postural muscle. Most of the muscles on our backside, on our posterior chain, our postural nature, which means that they fire to keep us upright, even from the glutes, but mostly low back, up through the mid-spine, upper back, right? All these muscles are going to fire just to keep us upright. So they have to be used to working all day long as opposed to some of the muscles in the front. I mean, certainly the bicep kind of fires on command. We don't walk around all day like this, right? It fires on command. These muscles have to work all the time. So in order to address them, we really need to work on quality reps, we need to work on holding the, the, the exercises for a lot longer per rep, and we also have to have ways that we can activate them better because I don't think we have a real good ability to do that. They're mostly on stretch all day long, 
And a long muscle that's posturally on stretch for a long period of time becomes a much weaker muscle. How do we sort of consciously figure out what we're doing here? We really have to make sure that we're not just rowing when we do any kind of rowing motion. We have to make sure that we're consciously contracting the rhomboids too. So, a quick little setup here with the band. I can row like this all day long, okay? And, I, I mean, I'm using my lats and I'm pulling my elbows in nice and close, okay? But when we want to activate the rhomboids, what we have to do is really squeeze the shoulder blades together, okay? Really squeeze the shoulder blades together. So it's not just a row, but it's a row in a squeeze. You find that you have a right versus left of balance over your rhomboids, you do this one arm at a time, again, keeping this other side square, but the treatment for that is not one set of 20 repetitions. It's 20 sets of one repetition. You want to make sure that you are getting top quality and making sure that you are getting peak contraction of that rhomboid, because that's our problem, guys. We can't contract that with much conscious action. We're really a little bit more uh, unaware of that muscle, and that mind-muscle connection is extremely important. Let me show you one exercise that I think is a great one for you guys to do. The setup here is our landmine setup. Again, you can do this at home if you have a bar. If you're at the gym, it's obviously a lot easier, but you don't need a lot of the crazy stuff to be able to do this. I take a bar, and you can buy any of these little strap handles from anything. These happen to come from my machine over there. Slide them over the bar, slide them over the bar, okay? I'll tell you why we use those, and then Put your weight on. Now, ego guys, you gotta leave it at the door sometimes when you're trying to train your back for the purpose of strengthening your rhomboids. It's not about heavy. The heavier you go, sometimes you lose the ability to control what's going on back there. With these straps, I've given myself about three or four extra inches, as you can see, to be able to pull and get around my back. Last tip on the rhomboids. We're here, we wanna be able to get a pre-stretch of the shoulder blades, let them get around your body. So, as you can see from here, you might be able to sneak around and see, shoulder blades kind of engaged together, pre-stretch them, let them come forward, because now you're gonna be able to actually have some movement to make in order to feel them moving and pinching together. If you start from here and you go up, there's no perceived motion that you can actually feel, so you wanna make it come around, so you have a pre-stretch. Now, from here, come up, and squeeze, okay? Down, pre-stretch, never let the low back go with it. Up, and squeeze. Down, up, and squeeze. That advantage of that pre-stretch is what allows you to then at least feel the motion. So you're not feeling like you're just starting from here and making a small movement. You have some room to be able to feel it going through that range of motion. Another exercise is called bat wings, where you lay down on a bench, you pull your uh, thumbs right up into your armpits, again, with the idea of really squeezing in between the shoulder blades, as opposed to just rowing up. Guys, rhomboids are just part of back training, right? They're one of the prerequisites. Have a stable back, you'll be able to build a lot off of that. It's like having a house. If you don't have a good foundation, you can't build a big house or at least expect it to stand tall. If you guys want to do more specific back training, something new here from X is our TNT series. It allows you to take a single muscle group like back, which we just released this week, and do an all out targeted attack on that. Now, why that's effective is twofold. One, I know there's a lot of guys that are already doing their own programs and they want a little extra in a specific muscle group. So that would accommodate you. Another thing, we've got guys that don't want to follow 90 day programs, and that's fine. They want to do kind of one-off muscle groups at the gym or with their buddies, and that's all right. We want to give you an option. But for the guys that do our Athletics training program that you can get over at athletics.com, the best part about these TNTs is that they allow you to integrate them directly into your current Athletics program. So wherever you are, if you want to get additional targeted work for a specific muscle group, you can do that and I tell you how to plug them in 
so you still don't overtrain, you still don't do too much, and you get done exactly what you need to do. It's sort of customizing the Athletics plan for you. Guys, all of that available over at athletics.com, the TNTs, the Athletics training system, all in the products drop down menu. In the meantime, I hope you found this helpful. I'm telling you guys, most of you are under training your rhomboids and not doing them the right way. This will help you start and get a big jump start on that so that you don't have to deal with this type of posture for the rest of your life. I'll be back here guys next week. In the meantime, make sure you leave a comment below, thumbs up if this was a helpful video for you. And as promised, tell me what you want to see next and we'll work on getting that to you as well. I'll see you guys over at athletenext.com.